guys. I'm in B&M vlogging on my own. Don't normally do this, but ooh, not a bit. Yeah, so I've picked up some bits in my basket. Got this little cushion cover for five pounds, and there's two in here. And it's just got this lovely side and this lovely side. And I've already got the cushions at home, so I thought I may as well just get these. So that's two pillars for five quid. Bye, Carb, because they're uh, running out. And then I got these hooks that just go over the door because we need them in the bedroom to hang our dressing gown on. Pound? Oh, that's fine. I don't really love the colour, but for a pound, bargain. I got some really cute stuff in. Yeah, I'm just having a look around while uh, Jamie's at baseball. Next up on the list is some shelving. That's what I'm looking for next. You know I can't resist a sale. I'll see what they've got. Mm. It's quite cool over the... T oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. A bit of an organic in it. Ooh, two cushions for eight quid. Now that ain't bad. That's the right colour. I really love these coasters, nice and beige and leather, so they're like a really nice materials compared to what we've got. We've got a lot of like bamboo stuff, it's 2 99 it's a bit too much for me, if I'm honest. A bit too much. I'm just having a look down all the aisles, just seeing what I can Because I always, I never get a chance to look, so when I do, I'm like, oh, that'll be good for that, that'll be good for this. Like, that's a good try, but I don't think they'd fit on our arms. Ooh, that's nice. A really cool trapping board set. Jamie would love this. Although we don't use meat, fish, virgin bread though. It's cute. Fourteen ninety nine. Right, I'm out of being I'm waiting for Jamie to finish baseball now. But I thought, I'd... what's that noise? <laughs> I thought I'd show you what I got. It's a bit close, isn't it? Here. Yeah. Um, right, so from Home Bargains, I picked up these little hooks. They're a pound. Joe's absolutely going to hate the feel of these, but he doesn't have to touch them, so it's okay. I'll just use it for my hanging of stuff, so, yeah. The others were like, they were like metal, and they were about three quid, and I was like, if I can get the same thing for a quid, that's like a third of the price off, so I'm going to have that. And they're only for two hooks, and that's free, so I picked that up. Uh, got some bicarb, that was a pound as well. I don't know if that's a bit much for that, but I was there, so, and we needed some. Um, I got these little cushion covers. They're kind of like a pinky, dusky pink. They're kind of, they're going to go in the bedroom and they match the curtain of the wardrobe and they also match the, um, the curtains, the main curtains, because they're kind of like a, they're a peachy, orangey, kind of ready kind of colour. But um, on one side you've got like the chevron, it's really soft. And on the other side you've got like this. I think I prefer the plain one, but I'd love to add some like pom-poms onto these. And these were 4 99 So I've already got the cushions at home that I was gonna I was going to DIY some cushion covers for, but this size for a job for a fiver. It's more than I'd normally pay for stuff, but like for this kind of stuff you kind of have to, don't you? So I picked that up. I then went to Home, not Home Bargains, Home Sense because I had a bit of time. Oh, Home Sense have already got their um, yellow ticket sale going as well. I think I've missed the best time to go because I think that should have been last week. But nevertheless, we got some good bargains. I got this Cedar and Stone Facial Mist Pure Novo Novoti, maybe? It's this one. Uh, it's natural. 100% plant-based skincare, that's good. I do, when I look for skincare at the minute, I'm looking for um, completely natural or as natural as possible because I think, I don't know, I don't know why, but I feel like that's best for your skin anyway. So it's got uh, Neroli Hydrosol Organic Citrus. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I don't know. The ultimate pick me up. A refreshing hydrating mist to use anywhere, anytime, free from artificial scents and preservatives. Pure facial mist just as nature intended. So it's GMO free, don't all eyes, paraben free, sulfate free and SLS free. All made in Australia. It's meant to be £6 at TK Maxx, so that's probably about a tenner RRP. And then £1.10 
I paid with my discount as well so that was a bit less I'm happy with that one it is missing a bit but for one pound something can't go wrong um I've seen this in TK Maxx quite a lot I've been quite interested but I think it was like a fiver in TK Maxx just gonna see what the RRP was to this one because sometimes it says on the ticket, sometimes it doesn't. And I've just ripped it off. I think it was a tenner RRP. And this one is fairly natural as well. It's got rosemary, peppermint, manuka, lavender, eucalyptus, orange, sunflower, tea tree, uh, sea buckthorn, aloe vera and something else. So it's an effective targeted therapy to quickly reduce spots and blemishes in just as little as four hours. The fast acting gel contains a powerful blend of natural and clinically proven ingredients to effectively calm the skin and clear any breakouts. So I thought if I get any breakouts, which occasionally I do, at the minute with the new skincare regime I'm on, it's like keeping them at bay, but sometimes they do pop through. So just in case I picked up this and this was £1.70 it's just like a little tube a little oh that's cute nice so if i get any hormone breakouts break out this we should be fine then this one a bit more expensive for me than i like to pay it's just not great lighting is it mm, they're mad this is the eclat i can't i can't this is what it is <laughs> Um, I looked online and from the website it's £40. Oh, yeah, 50, yeah, 40, sorry, yeah, 50, did I say 50 pounds? 49 99 This is meant to be, and I got it for £2.50. I think they must have been selling it in the shop for 9 99 or something. So, I mean, amazing saving as it is. It's a renewing cleansing oil and it is full, which is always love to always lovely to see. It's one of those you have to mix together and it says it's a water based and oil based cleanser. So this one's not natural at all I don't think. Uh, what's it got? It's got, got all sorts in it. Absolutely all sorts. But I bought this for days where I'm wearing a lot of makeup so if I'm wearing like proper foundation I normally just wear like CC cream or BB cream but if I'm wearing proper foundation and I've got thick heavy makeup on this is what I'm going to use because I find that when I have those days, my skin seems to break out afterwards. So we're going to give this a go for the very thick and heavy makeup days. So that is my little haul. Didn't do too bad. I'm excited to go back to work tomorrow to get the yellow ticket sale because it would have gone down even more. And I'm looking at a couple of things. Where are we? We're in Bridge North, the northern bridge of uh, the bridges. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> She's so <laughs> embarrassed about it these days. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog from me. I know you've already seen stays, but we are Bridge North. Yeah, that's, is it a known place? I don't know. I don't it's know. Like so you know Beaudley, if you've been watching the vlogs a while, we go to Beaudley. I think this town's probably the same sort of age. It's quite peaky blind as he. So um, you'll see, it's like it's like a really steep town and there's like a, I don't know what it's called. It's not like a monorail, but it's like a tram. That's the word. It's a tram that goes up this big hill. That's going to be cool. So we're going to find something for a bit of lunch. Going to go out. I'm very baseball-y. I've been to baseball. So I'm matching cap, matching shoes, matching top. Top with like really cool red sleeves to go with it. Mm. So you know. I'm just baseball. I'm just American. Look, there are. Oh, yeah. shoot, no, they got to get a sticker for in the car. Oh, have a look at me. Yeah, but I, I, I think there must have not been any in there. Hold on. Lights behind you. I can't see you. Mom said you were very Instagrammable today, didn't she? Got my one pound hat on. Tidy. Got my 16 pound shoes. Bit of them. And this jeans. Well, this was cheap. This was like a pound. Little regatta top. And this was 35 instead of 80. Tidy. Pretty much. One more in. Charity shops. Primark. Uh, eBay. Charity shop. And then the red shirt was charity shop. I think this was a present for you, was it, maybe? Was yeah, it, right? I think I bought it. Um, should we go to some charity shops today? Should we find some clothes? Yes, find yes, some good yes, stuff? Yes! So excited! <laughs> This is nice vibes, isn't it? Oh, you're not going to be able to see at the back. The, the, this is the problem with like winter. Um, the sun is so low, you just can't really see. And then it comes to summer, and the sun's so bright, you can't really see. And uh, people, people, people. Oh, look at it. <laughs> One of those old school cobbler things. Hold it, camera like what? That's what I'm... Sorry, so I hold it like this. Is this, this better? 
She gets really embarrassed about us vlogging. <laughs> More embarrassed than I do, and I get quite embarrassed vlogging about. I vlog being at uh, home, but B and M on my. Did own. you have by yourself? Yeah. Oh, what a freak! <laughs> If <laughs> Liz is looking at you like, oh my god, that's Scott's turn. I didn't do home sense. Oh, did you go home sense, did you? Yeah. Bought loads of bits. And the bobs. Bits and bobs, there's Shelby. Sorry, I'm just, shop there. trying to get your face. This is quite nice, isn't it? Like this? Shelby, like. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Like, like Peaky Blinders, yeah, I get you, because the sign is similar to Peaky Blinders. Oh. Is this giving you inspiration, so to be making maps? Yeah. Illustration maps. I wonder when that was done, man. So, is it dated? Designed by Cholton Studios, but it doesn't have a year. Can you get me looking? Oh, you want it? Okay, okay. Trolley as well. How much is trolley? Doesn't say. Oh my god, we found the tunnel boat. I think we might be getting that. Um... Look at all this. Crazed. I think that must be the word for it. There's a cute trace. Do you want to try the castle one? This is the little row while we're on about. I don't know if I can get a clip of it. I'll get a clip of it afterwards. Yeah, we'll get on that way before we stop any from anything. Then. I don't know what about seeing nice areas that's nice. Do you know what I mean? Like seeing nice buildings and stuff. Yeah. What is it that's nice about it to us? No idea. It just, just looks pretty. It's just really relaxing. <laughs> around. Is that it? Oh, platform nine and three quarters. It says nine and three quarters. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> it's good, yeah. Look. Oh. <laughs> pet shop there. Looks quite nice. Mm, looks delicious. She's gone for the chicken and mayo toast here. Jamie's gone for some Shoop. red pepper and tomato. Shoop. Lissy's very embarrassed by us. This looks so good. Oh, no, oh my god, American drinks great. So they're on the root beer. I mean, Lissy shared one of each. Mm. Much better than it really yeah. Your films will last forever on YouTube, the champion address on the internet. It's cool, isn't it? It's if really you cool. YouTube, you'd have to get that one. I know, right? There's a Scotty film there as well. A Scotty? Do you retro? Not vintage. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say. How cute. That's like, it's like a sort of shot from uh, London, isn't it? It's like, yeah, no, boy. The streets is just like London. I just said it's I'll like Mary him. Poppins or Paddington or something. Yeah, it is quite bright in here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I love that. So, guys, we had lunch and then we. Uh, oh, look. Thomas Telford. Who is he? Engineer and architect. And then we stopped off uh, and had a couple of cakes and Greg's, which were delicious. I still got the coffee. I'm absolutely loving this today. So nice. I wanted I to be busy today, but you know what? I was wrong. This is better. I know, but it's something different, aren't it? We haven't, I haven't been here in years, and I've <sighs> forgotten how door. nice this is, man. <gasps> and how much there is to do. So it's like being on holiday here. There's so much to do. I know, right? Anyway, we're about to go on the uh, tram thing that we told you about. The steepest and oldest in Britain, we think. But we couldn't decide the steepest and oldest what, because it was very descriptive. It was like, the <laughs> steepest and oldest electric. <gasps> Somewhere. Look at that door knocker. Sorry. Okay. No, I reckon that's a bell. No. I think so. Are you a bell? Wow. Oh, wow. Dude, they had a piano in their window. They have what? Piano in the window. Oh, look at that. What? I thought I was a stick. <laughs> Keep it in the Audi at first. I was like, yeah, that's nice after. This house is also unique. Look at that one. Proper uni. Yeah, and then this one's all like. Sash window. Large. Oh. Look at that little door with the cat flap. Going the bricks. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh my god, look, look, these are like. Ferrari. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, they just came out of the house as well. Oh my god, okay, but they're coming out. That's so cool, what is here? Look at this view we found here. What? Oh, Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. It's only a Ferrari, it's just a little Ferrari, you know how it is. You know. I oh, know. <laughs> Go back to this one. Okay. All right, we're at some castle um, ruins. I don't know what this is, but it's big. No, yeah, there's like castle ruins and stuff. D D S I I N G R D Singer or Doctor Inger maybe. But whatever he does, he's got a Ferrari, so he can't be bad. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice ruin. Yeah, I liked the look at the oldest looking gravestones you can. And see like when they were. I feel like that was a gravestone and probably had words of where the moss is maybe. I don't know. Look how much on the piss it is, man. 
Imagine if you're just walking underneath that and it just came down on you. Well, you wouldn't know about it, would you? <laughs> There'd just be lights out. Man, so this is some part of what was once a castle, I guess. I wonder what the holes were, you know what I mean? What was there? What yeah. was attached? It was allow the water to breathe. Oh right, they were worried about ventilation, were they? Is that what it is? Is that mold growing? Oh right, yeah. <laughs> King and Queens were here going, oh, there's no. Are there peepholes in there? Oh, there's peepholes. You're just yeah. using words that you've only just learnt. I think it was probably where you can see the castle. where it like conjoined something. Maybe they had wooden spokes in it. Look, Do you know how I mean? They're all the way up. What? Look, oh wow. How old is it? You can see a bit of the shaping up the top there, that V. I wonder, you, I wonder who lived here and when. We need to find this out. This is a really in, uninformative, on this sign, uninformative video here. No, it just says the times that it's open. Okay, we found the informative sign. So the castle was destroyed in 1647. It was built in 912, man. Uh, I, I know, right, 912, over a thousand years ago. <laughs> That's wow. mental in it man. This was a building built a thousand years ago. What the hell? Doesn't that just blow your mind? Like you, you, like you probably can't even trace your ancestry back more than like what a couple hundred years. I don't think that's a thousand years old. <laughs> oh, is that a thousand year old hose? Goodbye. 1953. You're welcome. <laughs> Time for the view. Oh, is it? Is it all ice over there? Yeah, in that little bit. You really can't see because of these bloody trees, can you? What a pain. It's not really Scotland. Yeah, it's like, uh, reminds me a bit of when we went to Bristol. Bristol. Uh, I mean, there's a little bridge over there. It's not quite the Bristol Suspension Bridge, whatever it's called, but you know what? It's lovely. It's, it's Bridge lovely. North yeah. and it's Black Country. Wait, is it? Is I don't know. Me neither, I don't know. Well, I, don't I don't know if we're in the black country still. Are not sure? Probably. We probably are. There's a Shelby bar. There was, to be fair. We're probably still black country. It feels like the black country, don't it? Just on the cliff. Yeah, just a... It's like posh black country. I don't know. This is probably where Tommy Shelby holidayed. <laughs> but look at that. Ooh, little nest. Not the good one. I like how flat it is. Do you know what I mean? How you can just see for... See, like, the whole town, man. Ah. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And the, whatever this is, the river, probably. Or this is, do you think this is the same river that runs through Budley? I think that's the Stour, so I don't oh, know, I might yeah, just be tracking. Oh, where's that? Is that a little tram? Look how. Oh, oh, okay. So is that Diddy? Hold on, let's see how steep this is, man. It's like a roller coaster, isn't it, man? You can't, oh, I still can't see from here. Oh my gosh. What's down there? Just death. You just get on and you just die. No. Ooh. Would you like some cigarettes? You paid for us. You paid. Do you wanna? Yeah, go on, I'll swap you. Honestly, Yeah, some proper stubs, man. Yeah, I had the change. Is it, look at that. Imagine if the brakes just failed, that one would just go straight through. <laughs> straight through the building. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna hit that, anyway. We? We're, we're just gonna go through the wall. Oh, look, there's more people coming up. Will we pass them? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to pass it goes fine. Do you think anyone? Oh no, man. Like the brakes could just fail, couldn't they? And you just go straight through. Hello, anybody home? Well, oh, there's, there's like tables and stuff. It's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Both bits. That was exciting, wasn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. 
He's stuck. He was crying. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's so fucking stuck. Oh, God. Jesus. He's not quite off. He's not quite I need hot water. He's Jesus. okay. He's okay. Oh, God. You're all right. Oh, oh God. <laughs> My whole mouth was stuck to that man. I thought you were joking when you showed me. Oh my god, I have my lip look. Oh. Normal, yeah. I thought I was gonna rip skin <laughs> off, man. I got it out of the freezer. Oh, I'm quite stuck. Just put the whole thing in my gob. And that freezer is really cold, like really frozen. Like ice cream comes out, rock off. <laughs> and that was just so frozen. As soon as it touched the inside of my mouth, it froze my whole frigging mouth to the lolly. I was just stuck on it, like. <laughs> you, you just go, ooh, what's the oh, what? so <laughs> what are you doing? She so just look normal, Lolly. I'm scared now. I think it's going to be okay. That was a bit the frosty. <laughs> I just want to enjoy a lollipop, boy. <laughs> oh. Hello, are you doing doodly? Hello, thanks very much. Goodness gracious me. It's oh, I am exhausted. It is. It is, should we just have a kip? Let's just end the vlog now, guys. We're all gonna have a kip. Come back when when it's the morning. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Yeah, I think this is a new day, new it vlog, is. yeah. Very dark. How are you guys doing? You doing alright? Oh yeah, lights off, don't they? <sighs> Hope you're all feeling good. It's uh yeah, we're about to go shopping at Aldi. We just gotta pop and get some stuff. We don't really want to go because we're both tired. But you know what? It's gotta be done. Gotta be done. You know. Living your best life, living in your own little flat, you gotta be done, you gotta go shopping. Gotta do them chores. Yeah. Oh. oh gosh. Oh gosh. We had some what? Bad news. What what's the bad news? Yesterday, didn't we? Oh, okay, yeah, let's should we tell them about that when we show it? I'm like oh. Okay. Okay. But today's been alright, hasn't it? You say she's not been at work since a Tuesday. I went to work and then I've got some family that live in Canada and they came over. It's like my nan's brother and his family. And um, he's into guitar. He's been playing about five years. And so I took some guitars around and we had a little jam. And one of my cousins as well who plays ukulele. But she was going to bring it, but she... Uh... Oh, if you break softer, that wouldn't happen. I do apologise. She got a little bit... Uh, she got cold feet last minute. Uh. And didn't bring the ukulele. And uh, my uncle was like, oh, you should have brought the ukulele. <laughs> so he's going to try and get, make a, have a jam with him on the uke next time. Yeah. But we had a good little uh, afternoon of having a jam on some acoustics. Yeah, he was enjoying it. Lovely. And then now I need food and I need bed. So if we could get those things, that would be grand. Yeah, that, that would be 